All right. Hey, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. Just keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. Yahweh Shai, He coming back soon. He coming back for His, His own. OK, but, uh, you know, I just want to make this quick epistle, this quick lesson here, because uh, I don't know. I've, I've been holding this, I guess, for about a week or so. But I was looking up, uh, you know, so-called black towns, Native American towns, so-called Native American, so-called Hispanic towns that were, you know, drowned. And come to find out there was a whole lot more than I even thought of. Right. And this is very interesting. So I'm going to go into this article. You know, quickly, I won't read too much of it. And then we go hit it with some scriptures and quit it. All right. But, you know, it is what it is. And Esau Edom got a whole lot more to pay for than even we know about. You know, there are things that Yahweh Shimei knows about the things that he's done. He's going to make it manifest. You know, he's going to make it manifest anyway. Let's go here. This is expert. He said black landscapers matter, which I don't understand what that means. But anyway, after the Civil War recently freed uh, Israelite people in uh endeavored to create their own communities during reconstruction and with newfound access to, to a, a political and economical power, which really they didn't, you know, cause you had the Jim Crow, you had your, uh, your black codes, you know, and things like that. You know, it's in uh, contrary to popular belief. There were signs that said no Mexicans and no Negroes, no blacks, no Mexicans. All right. These signs said these things. All right. Nor the kingdom. They went through the same thing that we went through. Matter of fact, it might have been even worse. OK, let's continue going. I'm going to skip down just a little bit. Black towns, Israelite towns, if you will. Institutions uh, emerged where black people, uh, Israelite people lived before uh, before the end of the Civil War. Union soldiers defeated uh, Confederate soldiers, <clears throat> attracted, uh, emancipated, which was that that word emancipated is supposed to mean um, it's supposed to mean uh uh, the abolishment, but really what happened was uh, the Emancipation Proclamator, you know, Abraham Lincoln, he uh, it, what what happened to the slaves basically was well, they got transferred from private ownership to a uh, national ownership. It's, it's, it's the same thing. The scripture said Baruch 3 and verse 8, we are yet this day in our captivity, you know, in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. That's in another scripture. Anyway, let's keep on. Let's keep, let's go down here just a little bit further. Um, yep, let's see, emancipated, uh, situation across the town of Tarboro, North Carolina. And this was interesting because when I read this, I was like, wow, Tarboro is very close. And within the, uh, the floodplain, see that of the Tar River, the land was dubbed Freedom Hill. Okay. That's what it was called. Freedom Hill. I might want to go a little bit deeper and really look it up. 20 years later, a, uh, Israelite community elder named Turner Prince purchased the land and it was renamed Pineville or Salakia Princeville. Uh, I thought it said Pineville Princeville. All right. The first incorporated Israelite town in America. All right. So th this is very, very interesting. And this is very close to me, very close. All right. To all of us. All right. Uh, through uh, Princeville may look, like other uh, rural towns in eastern North Carolina, and that's where I am. You know, well, actually, I'm in western North Carolina, but yeah, it's pretty close. It carries significant uh, his uh, histories. Uh, Shiloh Landing marks the point along the Tar River where enslaved people, Israelites, all right, disembarked into 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 brutal, uh, yeah, brutal lives of forced labor and captivity. OK, which we again, we are yet this day in our captivity. I'm going to read just a little bit more and we'll get to some scriptures, man, because he's got a whole lot to pay for a whole lot. Come to find out this was one of the first so-called black towns ever created. It's one of the first ones it says it here somewhere. All right, let's keep going. Let's see. Um, let's jump on down here. Uh, many residents were engaged in the timber and mill industries, right? You know, a mill. You you uh, you you take you take your wood and you cut it down. You mill the wood down, all right, and located their businesses 
and homes close to the to Tar River built on stilts to help them survive frequent flooding. OK, so really what happened was and there's a town, uh, a picture of it right there. Really, what happened was they ended up flooding it. You know, and all of these damn different lakes. I know, I'm sure you heard of what Lake Lanier. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, Watauga Lake, where uh, you know, up here where I'm at, Western North Carolina, in Boone, North Carolina, uh, there's a, a a lake called Watauga Lake, and uh, come to find out, that was a flooded uh, Northern Kingdom town. They flooded that town, and now now all the Edomites have their houseboats and having a good time on it. You see, Isaiah 29 and verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel. All right. They seek deep to hide their counsel because they don't want none of this talk, none of this history. All they want you is, is to say in school, in these, in these uh, uh, trash ass public schools. All they teach you is about what Christopher Colon, you know, that damn devil, which he had Hebrew interpreters. They don't teach you that. They teach you that. They teach you Christmas, you know, just the simple uh, Edomite things that they want you to know. You know, all the, uh, 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 you see, Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, he freed the slaves. He's a good one. Uh, uh, George Washington, the first president, blah, blah, blah. They don't teach you nothing about no history. That's why they seek deep to hide their counsel. All right. They don't want to go into the history, which they call critical race theory. Hmm. They can't even define it themselves. They have no idea what it is. All they know is I don't want my children knowing what my forefathers did, which really is them. Everybody's back in their lot. Isaiah 29, verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh, and their works are in the dark, and they say, who seeth us? And who knoweth us? And the water to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, for giving us the eyesight to start to see these things, you know, to see, to, uh, to uh, uh, unveil the man, uh, uh, what's his, uh, the son of perdition. All right, which is Esau in the damn devil the Bible speaks of. We can clearly see the things that he's doing upon this earth. All right. We walk circumspectly. We can see it through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For the work, for shall the work of him that made it. He made me, uh, for shall the work say of him that made it. He made me not, or shall the t the thing framed say of him that framed it? He had no understanding. See, but they they are, but they seek deep to hide their counsel. They covet fields. They take them by violence. They say, "Who is going to see us? We got away with it." Their inward thought that their houses shall continue forever. Correct. Let's read this Revelation thirteen and verse nine. Let's go back to verse nine. <laughs> All right, because they're going to pay for, for everything they've done. They're going to drink the dregs of the cup all the way down to the very last compound. All right. All these things, the alligator bait, everything, rosewood. You know, they uh, they tell you, well, you're good now. And our people just take it hook, line and sinker. Right. Especially the women. You know, uh, Eve done made a covenant with, with the damn devil since, uh, since the beginning. And it's very clear to see we sick of that shit. Verse nine. Revelation 9 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is what we are patiently waiting on. All right. It's the big payback, man. Let's go here. Micah 2 and verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity that work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hand because they have the power to do so job 9 verse 24 the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked but what do they do they covet fields and take them by violence you know all kinds just all kinds of different things it just when i read that you know how about shimmy shot said he put it on my spirit and said you know do a lesson about it you know and, and, and all that, and after all that, come to find out, you know, when uh, uh, when integration was happening, which was the worst thing for anybody, <laughs> to, uh, just to be honest with you, they used to have like merry-go-rounds and and uh and just public parks. It was it was like it was like uh if you you know if you near Charlotte, it was like Carowinds. It was like a uh, you know Disneyland, just a regular park. They had rides and everything. It was like a uh 
what do you call them? Like a fair, like a county fair every day. But as soon as Jake, you know, got up in a certain neighborhoods or whatever, redlining, anyway, they would uh, take the swimming pools and, 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 and fill them up with concrete. They took all the rides down. All kinds of different things, man. Damn this devil. This is not our rest anyway. We understand that. Verse 2, and they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Small hatters. They oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Rosewood. Uh, uh, Black Wall Street. Call it what you want. You know, the devil's punch bowl. Strange fruit, right? You see that? Verse three, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, uh, uh, behold, against this family do I devise an evil. Hmm. For which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go hauntily, for this time is evil. See that? Oh, boy. Yeah, that's what we're doing right here. We're doing that. Verse four, in the day shall one take up a parable against you and lament with a doleful lamentation and say, we be utterly spoiled. He that he hath changed the portion of my people. Esau, eat them. See that? How have he removed it from me? Turning away, he have devised our field, divided our fields, man. Okay. And that's really, he, that's why he wants to keep it that way. That's why he don't want the real truth of nothing being taught nowhere. That's why they came up with the slave Bible. That's why they still to this day lie to you in these harlot houses. But our people don't want to hear. This is what their inner thought is. Our people don't want to hear nothing. They're comfortable in this place. And, you know, honestly, they're downright stupid. The saddest children, as the scripture said, right? In the meantime, you having fun uh, uh, on, uh, on top of the lake and in, in, in the rivers and, and, and this and that, wherever you are, and you think you got it made, especially these boule uh, Negroes, can't stand them. But this is their inward thought. Let's read about it. I quoted it earlier. I didn't want to butcher it. Psalms 90, uh, Salakia 49 and verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. See that? In the third and fourth generation, we come back. So really, they was laying up treasures for themselves because these higher ups know that they come back. They know it. All right. They call their lands after their own names. New York. Boone, North Carolina. See? Uh, uh, what? New, New Jersey. Come on, man. Come on. Amongst other, you know, other names. America. Americo Vespucci, right? See that? Leo Scipio Africanus. Uh, uh, Asiatic. Asi well, I think it's in uh, Asiatica. I think those are three brothers also. Please somebody correct me if I'm wrong. All right? But see, Yahweh Bashimi al is the one who did this to us anyway, pursuant to the curses in Deuteronomy 28. Because we did not hearken and listen to his word. So he put us on low. Okay? So we're not, we're not, we were never meant to have anything on this side. This is our punishment. This is what he did. A good father chastises his children, the ones he loves. Deuteronomy 28, verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only, be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. You see? And no man shall save thee. That's why whenever Jake thinks he got a foothold somewhere, northern, northern and southern kingdom, what happens? You, you, you always get busted right back down to the ground because this is not our rest. You know, I don't know what's so hard about that, but our people just don't want to hear it. It's not our rest. Let's read about it. Let's go to it. Let's go right here to it. Micah 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart by the renewing of your mind through the spirit and power of your high by Shimei Abishai. Coming back to him, coming back to the true words. That's how you depart. Make yourself holy, separate, new. Micah 2 and verse 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. 
It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. It's polluted. Verse 11, if any man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, I prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink, he shall even be the prophet of this people. Woo. Verse 12, I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. You see that? I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. That's the elect. And I will put them together as sheep of Basra, as the flock in the midst of their fold. They shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. Great noise. They shall stand upon their feet. Now, see, I went here. Um, there, there we go. I went to the rest of the article. Now, here's one. Let's see. Here's five you should know about. Five. Let's see. Lake Lanier. Of course, we know about that one. Salakia. These damn stupid ads. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please forgive me. Call hello. You how about me? I was shy. All right. Lake Lanier. And that's uh, Oscarville, Georgia. And then we got uh, uh, Co. Coa Co Co uh, Co Liga, okay, that's Benson, Alabama, all right? These are all flooded areas. It is way more than this. There's way more, you know, drowned towns, right? All right, Siena Village in New York City. And that, you know, that reminds me of uh, also uh, Central Park. They did the same thing with Central Park. It's a bunch of Jakes that own that land. They, uh, they own that land. They had a thriving community. But what did the scripture say in Deuteronomy 28 and verse uh, 29? What did it say? Thou shalt only be oppressed and spoiled. So what did they do? They said, well, we, we bought them out, but you know, you know, damn well, they didn't get no fair market value for that land. Okay, you know that. Anyway, Siena Village in New York City. Um, uh, Susanna, Alabama. Man, them rednecks down here. Them rednecks down there in Alabama, they rough too, man. All right. Vanport, Oregon. There's way more than that. You see, six. Uh, I think brothers have actually done videos about this, several videos about this, maybe even year, a couple years back. But I'm going to revisit this. Let's see what she had to say. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Satan. These expensive phones and it won't play. Whatever. It don't even matter. Screw it. Let's go back. I got a couple more. Let's see. Critical race. Yeah, I went into that. Uh, I wanted to see what the definition of critical race theory is. See, before it was critical race facts or critical race teaching. It was something different. All right. So let's go to the definition. If I can find anything on that. Um, come on. See, it's not even wanting to do nothing now. That's Satan. That's all right. Critical race theory. It's critical race facts, man. Uh, a brief synopsis on critical race. You see, academic movement regarding uh, society, race, and culture. So what's wrong with that? It's, it's, it's academic. It's just telling the damn truth. I'm not going to go too much further into that. Job 21 and verse 30. The wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Okay? You're going to have to pay for it. You're going to pay for these crimes. <laughs> as the big brother says what crimes you know but they have to pay for it man all jokes aside this is some serious business this is life and death right here verse 31 who shall declare his way to his face you hear that who shall declare his way to his face the prophets on the highways and byways he didn't put no spirit of fear on his men that's why they kicked us up out of Rome and this is Rome 2.0. You see that? A family of the words coming. All oh, these are prophecies. To his damn face. And who shall repay him uh, what he have done? Verse 32. Yet shall he be brought to the grave and shall remain in the tomb. Woo. He going to be brought down low. All right. I got a couple more. I'll close out. Ain't going to be too much longer. It's Psalms 141, verse 8. I just wanted to revisit it. It was, it was on my mind, you know? Yahabashim Yahusha, I put it on my mind. But my eyes are unto thee, O Yahweh, thy power. In these it is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. 
Leave not my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me. See? And the gins of the workers of iniquity. Didn't the scripture say they cannot sleep unless they cause something to fall? You know, they work of mischief. Their sleep is taken away unless they cause something to fall, right? Verse 10. Let the wicked fall in their own nets. Whistle, whistle, Salakia, that I withdraw, escape. All right? So they're going to have to pay for all these things. And, and I really just briefly hit, I, we can be here for, for days going into all the atrocities and all the things that Esau Edom has done to the children of Israel. And amongst these other nations also, did, didn't the scripture say in, uh, in Psalms that they are confederate against thee? First one, it said tabernacle, tabernacles of Edom. See, Moabites, Ishmaelites, Am, uh, Am, Amalek, head tribe of the Edomites, right? Isaiah 59 verse 18. According to their deeds, according accordingly, he will repay fury to his adversaries. And you know, one of my favorite scriptures, Jeremiah 30, verse 16, all the adversaries, right? Recompense to his enemies, to the uh, to the islands. He will repay recompense. All right. So there's no getting away. There's no getting away with this. You can't get away with it. It's already been spoken. It's been written. It's done. Endure to the end, brothers and sisters. Let's go. I know there's some, <clears throat> there's some elect ladies out there. I know it is. All right. Psalms 28, verse 4. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. See? They're going to get it all back twofold, like the scripture said, verse five, because they regard not the works of the Lord Yahweh, nor the operation of his hands. There's, he got two hands, right hand and left hand. He set the goats on his right and the uh, uh, like goats on his left and the sheep's on his right. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh, because he have heard the voice of my supplications. Verse seven, the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth. And with my with my song, I with my song, what with my song? Will I praise him? And we singing that new song upon this earth, the four corners of the earth. There's no stopping this truth. No matter how much you want to shadow Ben or think you're going to get away with your enterprise, he's going to destroy you while you fill in your belly. Esau, Edom, you are finished. Ruth 2 and verse 12. The Lord Yahweh recompense thy work and, and a full reward be given thee of the Lord Yahweh, our power of Israel, under whose wings thou art come to trust. And under nothing else and nobody else. And uh, damn all this, all this, uh, 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 the bl uh, them black boulets, damn all your, uh, your, your fraternities, damn all your ways, uh, damn all that. You don't fear your how about Shimmy out shot. He's going to leave you here and melt you. He's going to kill you. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. I'll leave it right there. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors again to the elders and apostles, a great millstone of whom we learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Also to the Aquaf that's sitting back and listen, listening patiently and doing what Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai said to do in order, decently and in order. Every chance you get, chant this damn place down. I hate it. DTA and Kwame Yasharala. Wah, a Bible ball. Boom. Shalom.